Ladies and gentlemen, fraud rewarded is fraud repeated. The Georgia Secretary of State Raffensperger approves extended mail-in voting, ballot harvesting, and drop boxes. They're trying to steal an election once again right in front of our eyes. They think we are idiots. Are we going to let them? Are we going to seriously let them do it again? In this video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the importance of the Georgia runoffs for our Senate majority on the right end. We're going to talk about the fraud that they're attempting to commit once again. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I'm James Lane. It is Sunday, the 29th of November. Just checking in with you, doing a couple short videos today, getting ready for the podcast tomorrow. I really appreciate all of the uh, kind words and everybody reaching out about uh, the 104 page document review I did about Sydney Powell's Krakening, if you know what I'm talking about. And of course, uh, all the nice things everybody's saying about the Gulag video I did yesterday. I really appreciate it. Not every video I make and not every recording I make is going to be, you know, two hours, three hours long. We're going to have some 10, 20 minute little clips in there. So I know the long ones aren't for everybody, but I do appreciate you guys sticking with me because we have the truth to tell, not a story to tell, but the truth to tell. And we have to get it out to all of the patriots out there. There's a lot of folks that don't feel connected, that don't feel like we have any hope on the right, that feel like this battle's over. Maybe they're uh, disconnected from the real lines of communication. Maybe they aren't on parlor yet. Maybe they're still stuck on Facebook or they're not on social media at all. Maybe they're slaves to the mainstream media because they don't have any other choice but cable television. Folks, it's very, very important to find these people, to spread the truth to these people, get these people onto Newsmax, OANN, get these people onto parlor, recruit these folks and let them know that they are part of a larger community of patriots. That's what we're all working on. That's what we're all doing. We are building this country once again for patriots. But I want to talk about Rona McDaniel for a second because she's urging Georgia Republicans to vote in the Senate runoffs and not lose their faith. And that's very important. These Senate runoffs are going to determine whether or not uh, we can basically protect the Supreme Court and the Constitution of the United States of America. If we allow them to cheat once more, they take it over, they expand the Supreme Court, and they destroy our civil rights and liberal and liberties. I mean, that's basically where this is going. So let's do a little bit of reading. This one's from Fox News. I know, I know, we are trying to do everything we can to get away from Fox. But once in a while, they do put some stories on here that I have to go through so we can get to the, the better news. They are getting spanked, by the way, in the ratings, and they deserve it. They deserve it, ladies and gentlemen. I, I honestly hope they go out of business and Newsmax and some others become the new source of right wing information. But let's go through this. All right. This is from Bree Stimson. Rona McDaniel urges Georgia Republicans to vote in Senate runoffs and not lose your faith. Republican National Committee Chairwoman Rona McDaniel on Saturday urged Republican voters in Georgia to vote for the party's Senate candidates in the January runoff. Some Trump supporters in the state had reportedly expressed reluctance to vote in the January 5th runoffs out of concerns that the presidential election was rigged in favor of Democrats and the Senate runoffs might be as well. And we all know that they are. It's obvious and the truth is coming out. So whether this sounds biased or not or whatever, I'm reading it from the article. Don't buy into it. We know here at the American Reveille and we as patriots, we the people know that immense fraud and immense uh, electoral deception took place and is taking place. And I can imagine when we finally audit and impound these Dominion machines and we go and look at the congressional races. I mean, if we're projecting into the future. And this comes to pass the way we believe it's going to come to pass. I believe we could actually flip the house to the Republicans and you're going to see a second term starting with Trump, with a Republican uh, Senate and 
with a Republican Congress, the the trifecta, the triple threat, what we need to get this country back on the right track, what we need to successfully steer the Titanic away from the iceberg, ladies and gentlemen, because the left wants to crash this country into a brick wall. And we're not going to let that happen, folks. How are we going to give money and work when it's already decided? One voter asked McDaniel, referring to the runoffs, according to the independent. You see these skeptical Trump voters, these skeptical folks, and they have a right to be skeptical. We have a right to be skeptical. But it seems that things are going to be wrapped up in the long run. Look, it hasn't been decided, McDaniel responded. This is the key. It is not decided. So if you lose your faith and you don't vote and people walk away, that will decide it. Ladies and gentlemen, she noted that Republican incumbent Senator David Perdue was leading Democrat John Ossoff by more than 88,000 votes after the November election, the November 3rd election, excuse me, was certified. The race still headed to a runoff, though, because Perdue was just under the required 50 percent mark to win. Georgia's other Republican incumbent, Senny, uh, Senny, Senator Kelly Loeffler, will face Democrat uh, Reverend Raffrey, uh, Raphael Warnock it sounds it's such a tongue twisting name. Rev Reverend Raphael Warnock. We'll just call him Warnock the Warlock in a separate runoff. Warlock. We're just calling him Warlock from now on. Screw him. Warlock received 32 percent of the vote. And Loeffler received 25 percent in a crowded field that include candidates from both parties. GOP rep Doug Collins came in third with 20 percent. Another voter asked McDaniel about a theory that some voting machines in the state had changed votes for President Trump to president elect. And we're not calling him president elect. Screw you, Fox News. F off and screw you for selling out to the mainstream. He hasn't won crap yet. Nothing's been decided. So to crappy wannabe fake president elect guy who incorporated a company so he could stand in front of a seal that says president elect Joe Biden. McDaniel said she hadn't seen any evidence that of that, according to the independent, although Trump has alleged fraud in Georgia's presidential election, he has also urged Republicans to get out the vote for Purdue and Loeffler, whose races will decide which party holds the majority in the next Senate. And in the next Congress, folks, Vice President Mike Pence, he also flew down to Georgia before Thanksgiving to stump for those candidates. And President Trump said last week he plans to make campaign stops on the part of the candidates as well. And we know Trump in the next few days will be in Georgia, folks. Both Georgia's Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger and Governor Brian Kemp, the rhino POS, faced a backlash and accusations from Trump supporters after they certified the election for Biden earlier this month. Don't panic. It's just a formality. It's going to get taken down as things progress up the chain and up to the Supreme Court. We have revolutionary cases from uh, Sidney Powell, from Lynn Wood. Do not fret. Things are moving in the right direction. But the rhinos have been revealed. They have come out to feed on the grasses and on the backs of the innocent American people. And we have spotted them. Oh, Governor Brian Kemp, you sorry sack of shit. I'm sorry. I curse, ladies and gentlemen. If there are any folks that uh, get offended by that, I apologize. But it really pisses me off when somebody cannot just uh, act upon their convictions or, or basically what they state they are. Brian Kemp is supposed to be a Republican. He's endorsed by Trump. It's somebody that was supposed to have the president's back, but instead behind his back, he held a jaded and gilded dagger and tried to jam it in the president's spine. But ladies and gentlemen, he has been exposed and he will be taken down in due time when our justice system is replenished. Folks, Let's keep going for a second. The state is also in the middle of a recount of this presidential election at the request of the Trump campaign, which we know about, folks. We know about. And I want to stress the importance of this election. Again, our Constitution, our Supreme Court rests in the balance of the Senate. I am not trying to frighten you or worry you. I'm trying to arm you with the correct information, what you should be focusing your energy on, your efforts on. General Flynn tells us to have faith, knows that the plan 
plan for the president is in place tells us to focus on putting our positive energy into our digital soldiering. And that's what we have to do. So, folks, when I tell you to focus your energy on Georgia, I'm not kidding you. I'm telling you, that's where we need to win at the moment. Trump and his team have all the cards in place for now. Things are working their way up the court system. It is time in Georgia to scream at the top of our lungs. We are not a silent majority anymore. We are a loud and proud right wing monolith, uh, uh, um, a giant, a dragon, an enraged and large scale atomic weapon of right wing values and fortitude. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to blast them off of this planet in Georgia with the mighty boom of our voice. You have to do it at the polls, ladies and gentlemen. So if you are in Georgia and you are listening, get as many people as you can to vote. I don't care if it's mail in voting, however they want to try to fraud the system, then do what you have to do to get your name in the hat. Get your ballot in the hat with the right person's name on it, folks. All right. So that's Loeffler. Uh, and you're also looking at David Perdue. So, folks, I want to talk about uh, Steve Scalise for a second, talking about Georgia and the Senate runoffs. All right, folks, he put out a really good message uh, the other day, and this is coming off Breitbart, folks, uh, by Trent Baker. All right. And this was from Friday morning on Fox Business when uh, Steve Scalise, the House Minority Whip, called in and talked to them. And he emphasized, all right, the importance of the upcoming January 5th Georgia Senate runoff elections like we've been talking about. I know I'm harping on this for a second, but it's very, very important. Both Senator or both. I, I don't know what S-E-N-E-S stands for. So we're just going to say Kelly Loeffler, Republican Georgia and David Perdue, Republican Georgia. Maybe they meant to say senators and they created an abbreviation that I've never seen before. Sorry about that. <laughs> they seek to fend off Democrats, Reverend Raphael, the warlock and John Ossoff to hold on to the Senate majority. Scalise said the two seats are everything. He added that everything is on the line in the runoffs, which is why he urged the people of Georgia to vote for Loeffler and Purdue, which is why we're all voting for that. We can't let the left take over with regardless of what your gripes are with the right right now, ladies and gentlemen, regardless of if you want to talk about breaking off and we want to talk about running candidates on the MAGA party, the Make America Great Again party, folks, we can get there. But for now, we have to hold the the Senate and we have to put more effort towards the House. They the Democrats think they've won. And again, they may not have won that house. They may not have won that house. So we can make things better, but we'll never make things better if the Democrats get in and change all the rules from right under our feet. So it's important to focus on the bigger picture, ladies and gentlemen. These are just battles in a much larger campaign. All right. I think Everybody that looks at all of these plan shifts to the left, the socialists that are fighting in the House to say that they're going back to open borders. I mean, even Joe Biden's talking about stopping the building of the wall and literally just letting anybody into this country, regardless of what a legal process is, ought to recognize that the only way to stop any of this is in the United States Senate right now. And he is not wrong folks. And those two seats are everything, Scalise stressed. It's all on the line. I know I've already hosted events. We've raised over $200,000, and I hope everybody stays engaged in those races. I hope the people of Georgia vote for both Senator Perdue and Senator Loeffler. Everything is on the line. And just because Trump it has the master plan going forward just because we're cleaning house, just because it is looking more and more and more like Trump's legal path to victory may come to pass and we will win. Folks, that doesn't mean that we'll keep the Senate. That doesn't mean that we'll win the House or keep certain majorities. We have to clean house and get this fraud investigation going from top to bottom. All right. We have to look down ballot. We have to investigate everything congressional and senatorial that has happened in this election. But before that, we have to do everything in our power in Georgia to make sure the Republicans win for the bigger picture, 
ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you have to zoom out. They always say God is in the details, right? They always say, look very closely at something and make your decisions, calculate those decisions. But if you can't zoom out, zoom out and and see the bigger picture, you'll never understand why we're doing these things. And if you don't know why, you'll never have the resolve in you that you need to march through this mud, to slog through this boiling oil and walk these hot coals, ladies and gentlemen. The why is what empowers the patriots, all right? In leadership, all right? And I've been a leader multiple times in multiple different things in my life, whether it's in the military or in a career after the military or before the military, I'm gonna tell you, When people are empowered, not just giving them an order, telling them what to do, but when you explain to them why and you make them a part of it, you build the fire inside of them and you make their belly grumble with with this determination when you really give them that feeling and and make them part of the team and build that community around people they can go like the energizer bunny ladies and gentlemen for hours and hours on and on and on the resolve is unending unwavering and their skin becomes hard like armor folks this is no joke The why is very, very, very important. And right now, why we are focusing in Georgia is so that we can maintain a Senate majority so that the Democrats can't come in and try to sneakily and slimily like the snakes that they are slither in and destroy our Constitution and ruin the sanctity of the Supreme Court. And, you know, guys, the Democrats aren't making it any easier for us. They really are. And the Republican, I mean, none of nobody is. Nobody is. Look, the secretary of state of Georgia is out of his mind. Brian Kemp is out of his mind. They're obviously and reportedly in the pocket of Chinese money. Anyway, all of these people are connected. You you have to remember, by the way, folks, we aren't bazillionaires. We aren't people of high power and position. Not all of us have Senate seats or Congress seats or or doctors and lawyers. A lot of us are the cogs and the gears and the, the working parts of the machine that makes this country. We don't understand their interesting and crazy lifestyle where they get to manipulate these things and where these deals happen behind doors, where they're playing Game of Thrones with everybody's lives like a giant chessboard. It's not crazy to think that some of these people are connected, that the money flows between some of these people. And regardless of whether they're a Democrat or a Republican, regardless of who they serve, they always in the end serve themselves. This stuff doesn't uh, connect uneasily. It connects very easily, unfortunately. Unfortunately, and maybe fortunately, and I've said the word fortunately a couple times now. Sorry, folks, but I'm telling you. It isn't strange anymore. People don't consider these things conspiracy theories anymore. It just isn't. They're they're coming to pass and coming to true and more to truth and more and more people are seeing it. And the Democrats, like I said, and the rhinos, like I said, and the people fighting for themselves for their own selfishness to line their pockets and keep in with the deep state, these folks are doing what they can to blatantly defraud the election. Look at this. Fraud rewarded, once again, fraud rewarded is fraud repeated. The Georgia Secretary of State Raffensperger approves extended mail-in voting, ballot harvesting, and drop boxes, and assures that the Democrats will steal in the Georgia runoffs. Now, I don't necessarily agree with this headline, because I don't believe they can steal. I think if we come out with an overwhelming force, an overwhelming will and vote in Georgia like your life depends on it, they can cheat all they want and they won't be able to stop the red tidal wave that destroys everything in its path. Folks, this is from Jim Hoft. This is from today, November 29th at 1236 p.m. Corrupt Georgia. Governor Brian Kemp and Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger are to blame for the stolen presidential election in Georgia. Both Republican officials worked overtime to assure Democrats were able to steal the state for Joe Biden. President Trump won Georgia in 2016 by five points in every single state. President Trump picked up votes in his uh, in his in every single state. President Trump picked up votes in his historic landslide in 2020, which, believe you me, is going to be 
excuse me, is going to be revealed, ladies and gentlemen. But in Georgia, the state's top GOP officials assured the vote would be stolen by Democrats. Raffensperger even had Dominion Voting Systems Antifa executive Eric Coomer come testify for him weeks before the election. And we've all seen his videos of him at Antifa uh, basically saying that Dominion rigged the election for Joe Biden. We have seen that, ladies and gentlemen. See? Look at that. Thanks to Raffensperger, Democrats were able to shut down vote counting and then dump tens of thousands of ballots to steal the state for Joe Biden. And last week, Raffensperger announced he will throw the election to the Democrats once again. And this is why we are doing everything to get these cases, by the way, to the Supreme Court, because they are going to be a non-biased entity separate from the state that can lay the smack down on these idiots, ladies and gentlemen. Raffensperger will once again allow drop boxes for ballot harvesters and extend the mail-in voting. This assures that Democrat cheating in the peach state will occur. The Democrat candidates can now take off a couple of months, hide in the basement like Joe Biden did, and then celebrate their big wins in January. He states here, Republicans better wake up quick. And I don't disagree with Mr. Jim Hoft here. This secretary of state is a pig who will allow the runoffs to be stolen if his positions are not challenged. And you know what I have to say to the secretary of state who Jim Hoft is calling a pig? Do you know what my opinion is about the animal identity of the secretary of state of Georgia? It's this, ladies and gentlemen. And. He is a dirty, dirty pig. He is a disgusting human being. These are people selling out our country because of their own greed, selfishness, and cowardice, ladies and gentlemen. These folks are pigs. So, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to take this time to really stress that to you, to stress that the Democrats are still playing their dirty games, that the rhinos are working for the Democrats in Georgia, that the odds are stacked against us. If Trump has taught us anything, he's taught us that the qualities and the personality traits that the left deems to be evil and unnecessary, that they deem to be unacceptable, that they deem to be not welcome in society, that they want to call tribunals for and re-education camps for and, uh, that they want to persecute if they were to take over these qualities. I think these qualities are necessary for a time like this, especially down in Georgia. President Trump has taught us that the classic leadership figure, the 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 General MacArthur, the Churchill, the Winston Churchill, the Teddy Roosevelt's of this world, the exact personality that the left just hates that they literally seethe with hate thinking about. I think those personalities, the Trump-like personality, I think those qualities are necessary. I think that we require them at this time. I think that all of us should sometimes reach down deep inside of ourselves and search for these things and use these things to win for the greater good. I'm not talking about a socialist like greater good, like the left always talks about proclaiming and, and exclaiming that they always want to push forth and shove down our throats. This Marxist crap. What I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, when I say for the greater good is to be a patriot, to take a look into the past and see into the future and make decisions based on what would be not just best for ourselves, but what would be best for our country. And what is best for our country is freedom of speech, is the preservation of our Constitution, is the upholdment of the integrity of the Supreme Court, and is the sanctity and preservation of the American dream for our children's children's children. Folks. I really appreciate you watching. I work really hard at these videos. I also have a full time job. I'm uh, bringing on people to work within this company. We're blowing it up. If you would like to contribute to what we're doing, if you would like to see more videos and like to see our equipment improve and our operation get bigger and better and really make a difference, please, please, please go over to www.americanrevely.com. Head over to the donation tab and give anything, even a dollar, whatever helps, but it will go towards upgrading our equipment and towards expanding the American Reveille. Folks, 
Of course, you don't have to do that. Of course, I don't require that. I just appreciate you spreading the word. There's value in what I'm saying here, ladies and gentlemen, and people need to hear it. We are still waking people up from their sleep. Folks, follow me on Parlor at the James Lane. Take a look at more of my work, www.americanrevely.com. I also have a couple great writers on there like Desica Lee um, and a few others that we we really are just putting out some great material, folks. I'm, I'm very proud of everything that's been happening in the expansion. We're almost at 10,000 people on Parlor. Uh, we're getting thousands of listens every month to the podcast, so I can't thank you more, and I just really, really appreciate you, and um, I'm very proud as a patron and as an American to stand shoulder to shoulder with so many other patriots and wonderful Americans. So thank you very much. And I will see you in the next video and on the podcast Monday. Have a great weekend. <clears throat> yeah, mate, come here. Come here, mate. I need a, uh, I need to talk to you about about something mate i need you to um i need you to subscribe to my youtube channel right here <clears throat> there's this subscribe button right you hit this subscribe button and you say hey mate i want to be part of the movement the right wing <clears throat> conservative movement right and then you like it you share it right and we do this because we have a major dingo problem here. Oh, don't get me started on the dingo. They snatch babies. They do all kinds of horrible things. So if you want to prevent dingoes from coming into our cities and attacking our storefronts, taking our babies, doing horrible things, you like it, you share it, you subscribe, and then you go and get Parler right there. You look up at the James Lane, at the James Lane. Yeah, right there. Excuse me. Oh. oh God. Yeah. Sorry. So, you subscribe, you follow, you do all that good stuff. We get together, and we do a, a good old-fashioned poop party <laughs> right there on the left. <laughs> all right, mate. I'll see you next time.